Welcome back to the Roadshow this morning in the buzz. We talked about the war of words between Bishop Thomas Tobin and Representative Patrick Kennedy earlier this week. And in case you don't remember, the bishop told Kennedy that he shouldn't receive communion because of his public stance on some issues. Now the story, though, is gaining national attention because last night the bishop went on Fox News Channel to make his case to a national audience. Let's take a listen, listen to a clip of what he had to say. When a public person is in a position of power who affects legislation, there's a huge question of scandal. But for other individual Catholics, it might be a situation that they're not in the state of grace, as we say. You've heard that term. They're not prepared to receive communion. And if a pastor knew that, the pastor individually should certainly challenge that person. And if your job, your profession, your vocation gets in the way of that, you have to quit your job and, and save your soul. It so certainly to some, some surprising uh, comments. What do you guys think about this? That's Nobody's touching this this morning? <laughs> what do you think? I, 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 I'm not a Catholic. My dad was a Catholic. My mom was a born-again Christian. Okay. I was the confused <laughs> guy in the middle, and I still haven't chosen, really. I, I'm, I'm, I'm probably, if anything, I'm a Unitarian. Okay. I just think <laughs> I, I, when the church says you have to lose, leave your job mm -hmm. or you're, you have eternal damnation, pretty much, yeah. you can't save your soul, I don't know, man. I just, I, at least my view of, of the Catholic Church, I know this isn't the view, but a lot of people in the Catholic Church feel as though that there's not a lot of forgiveness mm. when, when, it, when it comes to okay. stuff like this. You, you, I don't know. Okay. That's, that's the best I way I can put it. I understand that. I think, uh, what do you think about that, Vince? There are other faiths that are as strict, if not more strict. Hasidic Jews are mm -hmm. much mm. more strict than sure. Catholics in their beliefs. Um, I just think that it was foolish for the bishop to go on national television. Mm. Uh, I don't think it helped the situation any. I don't think any of this publicness between the congressman or the bishop is helping anybody, mm. especially Catholics. Uh, again, I said it yesterday, I'll say it again. Um, Catholic Church has PR people. Congressman Kennedy has PR people. Mm -hmm. They should find a way to get themselves in a room, sit down, and try to hammer this out one way or another. Uh, so they can present this, the united front. Because this does nobody any good. Absolutely. Mm. I think, um, you know, I think to me it doesn't matter what, what I say, what anybody says. To me it matters. What does the Bible say about this? Because mm -hmm. ultimately man is flawed and God is not. Absolutely. And I know that in the Bible it says in Matthew in Matthew 5, Matthew 9, it talks about this idea that if, if a part of your body causes you to sin, you should gouge it out because better for that mm -hmm. to happen. If your eye, you know, causes you to sin, better for you to gouge it out than, mm -hmm. than to, uh, to, to not be within the will of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I think if you are a Catholic and you believe uh, what the Catholic Church says, you have to go back to the Bible and you have to check your faith, not against what you think, but what against the Word of God is. So it sounds to me as if you're on the side of Bishop Tobin. I, I think that, I, I'm not a Catholic, but I think if you are a Catholic, you should know what your faith is, you should know why you believe what you believe, and you should, just well, like Paul well, said, you should be able to, well, to give an account of that faith. Uh, I'm going to put you on the spot again. Mm -hmm. The faith of the Catholic Church is they are pro-life. They're against abortion. Right. Mm -hmm. This health care reform bill that's being pushed through Congress is not necessarily pro-life. Right. And Congressman Kennedy is not necessarily pro-life. Right. So it sounds to me as if you're saying, if you're going to be a Catholic, then you should be pro-life. If not go be something else. Yeah, exactly. And I think that, you know, if you can be there, you don't have to be a Catholic, but if you are, certainly you should believe the things that your faith says. And not even, not even your religion, but the Bible. I mean, what does the Word of God say about this? And I think that if you, if you are a Christian, you believe that Jesus died for your sins, right? Mm -hmm. So why should you say, oh, this part of my life is off limits to you? Yeah. If you're really a Christian, really a follower of Christ, then what you say is, you're in charge of my pocketbook, you're in charge of my sex life, you're in charge of mm -hmm. my you know, my faith, you're in charge of my job, and that's what it means to follow Christ. You don't have to follow Christ, but if you choose to, you should know the Word of God and be able to, you know, the Bible says in Revelation, if you're a lukewarm Christian, I'll spit you out of your, my mouth. Either be hot or cold, because yeah. God detests, uh, according to the Bible in Revelation, God detests people who are walking both ways. But I agree, I agree with what you said, Vince. The fact that either of them went public with this, and the fact mm. that they're even feeding the national news uh, agencies with this, it just, it, it's Quite frankly, never Quite frankly, I, I've never seen a bishop do anything like this. Yeah. Very interesting. Never seen it. You know, uh, Courtney, I know there's a lot of talk about this going on uh, on the live blog this morning and certainly on our Facebook page. What are people saying? 
Facebook has so many comments, and I actually like to get to that this morning more than the blog, because the bloggers are actually going to Facebook, which is good to, to comment on that. But we have a poll that they're actually answering in first, so everything will make sense for you. So we asked, if there was a conflict between your job and religion, which one would you choose? Your choices are A, my job, because it's my livelihood, or B, my religion, because beliefs come first. So let's, here's a snapshot of Facebook. Let's see if we can run through some of them. Karen says, Mr. O'Reilly owes the bishop an apology. Um, John Cook says, I agree with Karen. He owes the bishop an apology, and it's time for the bishop, Mr. Kennedy, to bury the hatchet and move forward. Greg Silva says, you cannot be pro-abortion and Catholic, period. And uh, Lisa says she agrees with everyone. She says, as for myself, I can't say really, to be honest, I don't know. I'm just glad I don't have to make that decision. And Jerry says, I would choose my job because the Catholic Church will, will not support my family. So uh, the comments are, are just coming in here. And, you know, whatever side you're on, if you want to share with us, hop on Facebook or the live blog. Maybe we'll share some more at the end of the show. Um, but I'll be back then with your poll results, too. For now, back into the kitchen.